What is happening guys, the DMG Phonics here, and I hope everybody is doing well. Okay guys, so I just wanted to speak at the start of this video, you will see me wear different clothes at the start, because that was actually recorded a few days ago, and then take over from today. Anyway guys, don't forget to drop a like if you do like content, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. It was just really weird. You're damn right. Stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. Steven's no, a weirdo. No, it, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Steven. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. What's going on, Steven? Fantastic job. I don't cheese that his name to Steven, by the way. Feeling too well. Let's give you a heads up. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was cadavers? To come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> No, uh, no, I'm no. on my way right now. I hope Nothing. you feel better. I'm a cadaver. I'm a cadaver. What? What am I on about? Bye. Right. So we have three more bodies with the train. Holy shit! That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> See? I told you it was fine. Let's go. Thanks. I have to go. Like right now. I'll talk to you later. All right. So, we were just called back to the office, so I don't know what I was actually supposed to do. Anyway guys, welcome back. Um, as you did see in the first episode of this game, it was a little bit mad. Um, I lost the plot quite a lot of times. Where, where are my keys? God, I lose those. Oh, wait. Find them. Easy. Easy done. Right. Temporary items. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use it. Use it what? Use a temporary item by directing an inter- uh, Okay. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, see it. Here you are. Wait. Got it. Easy. Alright guys, so we're back at the office. Um, I think we've got the job, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with. Um, but I think a couple of, uh, bodies were brought in. I think he said two or three. So, it looks like we're gonna be here all, right. all night. So I'll head to the back and get stuff. <sighs> What? What happened? What are you freaking out about? Wait. Yo. Yep. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver. What? I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just yeah. try to stay calm. I know Wait. you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen. You are? We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. Bound to you? No way of knowing the possession had stopped. That's something right there. Look, this isn't funny. Stop. Oh, there is. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This what is that? I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow what am I looking at right now? you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do How then? Most How did she? I work with How did she know there was something out there? I I only just seen him there now. Calm. Okay. Be Roger. Calm. File the paperwork. Everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. Okay, so we have to do everything I can, man. After the first episode, guys, you saw I was actually losing the plot. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it! What the fuck? Exactly. This is insane. Where's the way now? Level. What do I do? Hazing for the new girl or something. Just oh, what's this? Keys. Just play along. On a recorder. Do your job. Wait, what? Right. Wait. Hold key, hold key. Easy. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So tomorrow. It looks like we have a. Uh, Yeah, I'm here. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry. So the story's taking a completely different. Extremely 
unprofessional. What's happening? If this is how you treat new hires. I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. Wait, to do that, am I missing something here? Demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Wait, hey, what? Look, I know this is a lot to take in. And write me it. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope yeah. that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I, I see, I see, I see the little wee cassette player, trust cassette phones. tape things. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes, learn the demon's name, burn the correct body. The most Easy. In this cabinet, I I knew there was something funny, but this one. How do you open it? This is insane. Wait, what? Whatever. Just be the professional one. Grab a body and get started. Mini cassette, a small cassette label three. Progress of the possession. The demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you. The night shift database, a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. Yeah. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Uh, personal. Uh. Hey, what? Am I supposed to read this or something? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll grab a body. We'll get started. Blah blah blah. How do How do you know what what body we need? Okay, let's see. Grab a body. Right here we got Layla, Kathleen, Harvey. I go for Layla. Okay. Cause she's got the the less threatening kind of monster name, so Alright, after work we go. Grab this. Maybe what's this here? A clipboard used for form performs and keeping track of Right, okay. Easy. Alright. Layla Kelly. Uh right. So put that away. Right, let's just check our arm. See something there. I don't know what just happened, but okay. Um, how do you go back? Check her leg. Oh my god. Hello? Oh no. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. No, oh, I'm working. Hey, I'm right. She's not gonna get out of here. She says 80. Enter markings into the computer. All right, okay. Uh, so that, easy. All right, I let's see. Need to file the copy up front. Easy. Easy. Don't you scare me. We got this, baby. Easy, Lionel. It's time to embalm. Oh no. Are we actually doing all this again, man? Why is it so dark in here, man? Um, I don't know what to do. Where? Jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Needle injector. Um, where is the needle injector? What the hell is that? Hello? Where the hell said that? Setting needles. Isn't that right? And this is. Believe it, I think you'll love. Right. I don't understand why this is so difficult, man. Easy. Boink. Boink. There we and go. Boink. And boink. Alright. Now you what? Insert eye caps. What's... What's making all these bloody noises, man? Holy shit. 
Um, eye caps. But I really need the key to that hatch outside. Cleaners is low, and you mentioned having some ah, down there before. Zoe, wait, wait, wait. Um, I I don't see any eye caps, guys. Okay, guys, we're absolutely screwed here because we can't find the bloody eye caps, and I have no idea what they look like. Where the f right? They must be in this cupboard down here, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of, man. What the fuck, man? Eye caps, man. Oh shit. Oh, that's what the ringing noise was. Is there somebody in here? Where is the bloody eye caps, man? Why is it so bloody dark as well? Oh, this game is trash, man. Fuck the collar things I need to get. Who the hell's talking to me now? Huh? The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Look at a notepad in the front desk. Oh, here. How do we use it? No idea what that means. The scribble, like, doesn't mean anything. I still can't find these fucking caps, man. Let's keep looking because I th think we didn't really look. There's a good knife. Uh, is that them? Nice. Okay. Easy. Easy, Lionel. Uh, put them in there. Put them in there. Close them up. All right. Easy. Wait. You know what? Okay, what, 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 I'm just gonna ignore that. So we need jet, jet, what's this one here? I don't even know if we need that one. Oh my god, the inventory system in this game is trash, man. Oh, it's in the old cupboard. Oh. Nah, I'm not scared. I'm not scared, man. He says it's in this cupboard. So we do have the old key. Um... So, okay. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Beauty. You know what? We got, we got the third tape. Banish a demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. Okay. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Right. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Wait, Second, huh? The bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. Um. They can be obvious extremely subtle completely lost man you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel burn it finally the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips it must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation you will yeah. need to uncover these sigils to use them hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary if it begins to smolder and burn you're close when the paper combusts the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The I don't want to do any of this, man. Add the reagent to the embalming. Uncover the sigils, build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. I have no idea what the hell's going on, man. I know the scalpers are here. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. Easy. I'm not about that, man. Screw that shit there, like. 
Um, now what? Use four grips. Come tubing. He's taking me on. I'm gonna stand over here, man. Turn pop off, remove tubes. Close the incision or something. I don't want to do this, man. Easy. Let me get one of these bad boys here. And then we go boom, boom, boom. Boom. Mix cleaner in bathroom closet and create tank cleaner. I can't remember how we did this last time. I can't remember how we did it. What the fuck? Will you help me? Oh my god. Um, are you okay, love? Fucking. Yeah. Oh shit, I missed her. Can you help me? Wait. What are you looking for? Oh my god. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I smell a photo. Front 1970, back the year. Of arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator. A full number shall be six. A full number shall be. Ah. Roger. Where'd you go, love? Oh, want to be friends, Merlick? And we do something here, don't we? Is that, is that it? Oh, easy, Lionel. Alright. We head back and. Get this shit clean. I have still have no idea what what the hell I'm supposed to do. Wait, what? I have no idea what I'm doing. Moisturizer. Bum bum bum. Ah, that that's cleaner, isn't it? Easy. Apply moisturizer. All right. Okay. So. Turn body to storage. Right. I want to see what the hell do we do here. Take markings. I don't get it, man. Go back. I did say to grab a piece of this stuff, right? Yeah. Oh fuck! What does that mean? What does that mean? Lights out. Oh shit. What's happening? Who's in here with me? Great. <gasps> we have a ghost. I think she's the ghost. Right, I'm gonna kill her. I want to burn her. I want to cook her up. Okay, we're safe here, but looks to it. Give me this. I'm going to turn this bad boy on. I want to fry her up. Let's go. I put it away. All right. I still, I still have no idea what the hell is happening, guys. I'm gonna be honest, like. I can't use. I can't use that here. Lenny strip. I can't. I can't use that here. Why? Why not? Right. Let's try and figure out what the hell this is. Yeah, kind of screwed up there, because... Here's somebody. Hello? I am here. I hear you. What do you want? What do you want? Right, I don't know what's going on. We'll, we'll, we'll get her put away. And then we'll try and figure out what the hell is going on next. I have no clue, man. Absolutely no clue. Why is it not working for me? Use gurney, you know. All right, let's just put her away then. She get away with that. Quite lucky, luckily, 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 broccoli. Um, okay. So let's just go and grab another body by the looks of it. Um, I have no idea what's going on. So obviously, obviously, she was fine. I think. I think. Not, not a hundred percent. 
percent sure on that one though. All right. Easy. Okay. We take her. Thank you. Hey, her eyes are open, man. That's freaky. All right. Easy.